morning guys welcome back to another exciting video out here at this beautiful lake just right over there we were doing some fishing obviously we got rainbow trout in here and some very very big tiger trout we're gonna start at this lake might fish a couple other spots today we have all day long to explore it is possibly gonna storm and it is gonna be a bit windy as you can tell there's some mean looking clouds over there and I am hoping and praying that it holds off long enough to where we at least can catch some fish, you know? I don't want to be dealing with the wind all day, especially since we're fly fishing. We'll just have to see. Let's get rigged up and start fishing. So I got my Temple Fork Outfitters combo. Honestly, like the, my favorite fly rod I have. I've got a few others, but I'd say about 90% of the time I'm using this one right here. And I will leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's definitely more of a beginner's fly rod, but out of the few fly rods that I do have and that I have used, this is definitely my favorite. And I think it's only like 160 bucks or something. So for flies, I think I'm gonna have a balanced leech, this brown balanced leech, and then below it, I'm actually gonna put a fly that a subscriber tied me. In this box, I've got some flies that you guys have sent in. I've got some dry flies, some nymphs. I think below the leech, we're gonna put, let's try this little guy right here. Just that little nymph. I don't know the exact term, but it looks fishy. Water is looking crystal clear. It's even got a little blue tint to it. Looks really cool. Well, this is as good a spot as any to start. First cast. Hopefully there's some fish around here. I have no idea. Haven't seen any so far. Usually you'll see a few right here in the shallows and the water is so clear. There we go, fish on, fish on, first one. Little rainbow, yep. Little rainbow, not the tiger we're after, but dude, I'll take a fish. It's a start. Come here, guy. There we go, got him on the nymph. He did not go for the leech. Well, it's a start. It's a nice fish. He'd probably taste good in the pan, but I'll let the first one go, of course. Nice little rainbow, we'll just get him back quick. Thanks for biting, bud. That didn't take too long either. I was just right out here in front of me. Oh, there was one. Ah, right in the tree. Lovely. There we go. Fish on. Another rainbow. Another rainbow. Come here. And in the net. Nice. Yeah, dude. You bit on the leech. All right, just pops right out. Nice little rainbow. Get him back. There he goes. Oh, one just came up for it. Come on. Oh, got him, got him. <laughs> That's funny. I was dragging it across this log. Oh, it's a little tiger. Look at that. I was dragging it across this log ready to recast and I saw something just came up and tried to eat my bobber. Dropped it right back down there. Oh, this little guy bit it. Heck yeah, dude, first tiger of the day. Not the size we're after, but hey, dude, a tiger's a tiger. I haven't been catching many tigers lately, so this feels great. Oh, and I didn't even hook him in the mouth. He definitely went for it, but I ended up hooking him right in the gut. Sorry about that, pal. Hey, go tell your grandpa to start biting, huh? Thanks for biting, though. Later. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. There we go. Rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow. It's the first fish in like 20 minutes. And... Got him. Pop that fly out. Oh, 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 There he goes. See ya. <laughs> Those were slimy little things. But we love them anyway. 
There we go. There we go. I wasn't even sure if my indicator was down. I just couldn't find it and I just set the hook. <laughs> Ooh, another beautiful rainbow on the nymph again. They're loving that, whatever it is. It's got a little bit of yellow. There we go. Pops right out. Another beautiful rainbow trout. Let him go. There we go. There we go. That feels like a good one. That's a big whatever it is. What is that? Nope. It's not a rainbow. It's not huge, but that's a good... Is that a tiger? Come on. No, it's a rainbow. It's a really colorful, colorful rainbow. It was... I mean, I saw orange and I thought it was a tiger, but nope, just this guy. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful dark colored fish. Oh, he ate the leech. This guy wanted the leech. Just falls right out. Gorgeous rainbow. Really, really dark colors. Ah, oh, he tricked me. Thought I had a tiger. We'll let him go. There you go, buddy. Thanks for biting. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, dang it. Hey, there we go. Got him. I think they're, this is the third one I've caught from right here. So there might be some fish just stacked up out there. He might be in a good spot. A little smaller one. All right, there you go. Another nice rainbow. See ya starting to get cold out here like very cold I need to put on another coat freaking late June and it's freezing what is this crap I'm sick of it oh there we go Whoo! this one's a fighter this one's a fighter again I didn't even really see my indicator go down I just kind of set the hook whoa holy crap these fish fight oh my goodness Oh, this is so much fun, dude. Even though these are planters. Oh, gosh. Even though these are just planters, they are fun fish to catch. Ooh, that is a good one. That is not a bad size rainbow right there. Here we go. It's the biggest rainbow so far. Probably around the 14 inch mark. There we go. Rainbow. Yep. Eh, this guy's not very big. We'll just get him off here quick. Oh, there he goes. He got himself off. There we go. That's a good fish. That feels like a good f Oh, no. Snagged him in the tail. Never mind. I was like, oh, we got a big one. We got a really big one. Ooh, hold on, little guy. I'll get you off here. Look at that. <laughs> Not a big one at all. Just snagged him right there in the tail. I don't know how that happened. Go ahead and shake him off here. See it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think I might have snagged this fish. I might have snagged this fish. My indicator went down and it was coming up when I set the hook. So I might have just snagged him in the tail. And he's fighting really good. So I definitely, or it's a good tiger, right? Eh? Oh, is that a tiger trout? This might be a tiger. Yep, it is. It's a nice tiger trout. There we go. I think I got him in the tail, which kind of sucks, but I mean, he definitely went for it. All right, here we go, folks. This is what I'm after. Please don't pop off, I'll let you go. Come here, come here. Nope, 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 nope. This is the scary part, come on. And, yo, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Almost had him. 
taking me out again. And, and, got him, yes. Dude, nice tiger trout. I got him literally right in the tail, barely. I don't know how he didn't come off. Man, it kind of sucks I didn't get him in the mouth, but I mean, like I said, he went for it. And as soon as he spit it, I set the hook and just barely got him in the tail. Look at that, barely in the tail. There we go, popped it right out. Look at that stud, absolute stud of a tiger trout. My goodness, this is what I'm here for right here. Let's go ahead and measure them up from about six inches to nine inches. So that's 15 inch tiger trout. Goodness, dude. This is what I'm here for. I'm gonna get some pictures of them. We're gonna let them go. Try to get some more. All right, there he goes. Got some good pictures of them. Heck yeah, dude. That is what we're here for. Hooked up. It's been like an hour since the last fish. I actually kind of walked up this shoreline and fished a little bit with no success. And then the bite has kind of slowed down. So yeah, this is the first one in like an hour. Little rainbow. Nice, nice. I'm noticing a lot more starting to jump out in the middle of the lake. So all the fish might be just moving out there, but we're still catching them right here close to shore. See ya. All right, folks, so it's been about an hour since we've got a bite. They've just totally stopped feeding. So we're gonna head to a different lake and we'll see what happens there. There's a fish right there. There's a fish right there. I just spooked. Well, let's give it a cast right here. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Fish on. Oh my goodness. I just was walking along here, saw a fish spook out from behind those rocks, dipped it right in. We got one. A little rainbow trout. I'm here for the brook trout because there's brook trout in here, but I'll take whatever, man. Fish is a fish. Not a bad little rainbow. There we go. Beautiful fish. We'll just toss them back. Well, we're not going to get skunked at this lake. That's good. All right, folks, we've made it to the side of the lake that I actually was planning on fishing. And like I said, there's brook trout and rainbow trout, obviously. And we're going for the brookies. I'd love to catch a nice brookie. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Holy cow. I was not even looking down. Two seconds after I stopped talking, I look over there to see if there's a better rock to stand on. And this guy just comes out from under this big boulder, I guess and just clocks it. Holy crap. Honestly scared me half to death. Good rainbow. Man, you know what folks? I think this is dinner. This is lunch, cause I need one to cook. And I don't know how good the fishing is gonna be. So far we're off to a good start, but. Oh, come here. Got him in the net. Dude, that is a chunky rainbow. That is a freaking chunk. Oh my gosh, that's almost too big to keep. Actually. I got him on this white leech. Oh my gosh, this is a nice fish. Look at that. So just got him on this little white with some pink leech, something, whatever it is, he wanted it. These rainbows can get quite big. Check that out. That is a stud of a rainbow. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy real quick so it doesn't flop away and we'll keep fishing. All right, I just killed this guy. I'll uh, edit that out because it was actually quite brutal as you can see the blood right there. Anyway. Oh, 
dang it. I've already missed like three fish. So, I mean, it's a good sign, but it also sucks. There we go. Not coming off that time. I've missed literally half a dozen right here on and off camera. Finally, we get this guy. All right. This isn't even a very big fish. This guy probably was just recently stocked. Like this is a little guy, but man, he still fought good. Just right there in the tip of the nose with that little nymph. Just comes right out. Oh, <laughs> epic release. My gosh, the wind is switching directions every five minutes, every two seconds. It's coming straight at my face and then it goes this way. Dude, I'm like gonna lose it with this wind. Literally, if we weren't catching fish today, we would have had several rage moments. Let me assure you. Freaking crap. Oh my gosh, that could have, that could have been bad. I was resting my foot on a little knot on the tree and it broke. And I don't know how I didn't just tumble in. That could have been the end of the day right there. There we go. Rainbow. Dude, tell the brook trout, if there are any down there, tell them to start biting, please. I mean, I appreciate you trying to show me a good time, but I want a brook trout. You're cute and all, but please stay off my hook. There you go. Quick catch and release. Didn't even touch him. Oh, Whew. we're good. Oh, great. Yep, hung up on the bottom. Awesome. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Fantastic. All right, well, here goes that fly. And probably my whole entire setup. Well, well at least I got my indicator. And both of my flies are gone. Yay! Well, I do have this balance leech. I don't know, we'll give that a try. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. Oh, it's a little guy. Tiny little rainbow. Probably just stalked. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Get in here, I'll get you off. Hey, quit getting me wet. He's barely skin hooked. We'll just pop him off. Yep, there he goes. I'm just fishing right along shore here. It gets deep real quick. And there's lots of big boulders and stuff right here. So I imagine a lot of those, oh, there's another bite, yep. I'm thinking a lot of those fish, like this one, are just hiding in these boulders waiting for food to come by. So we're just gonna fish right next to them. All right. See ya. All right, we gotta go straight up this hill without falling. Come on. Jeez, this place is impossible to get around. We better catch just a bunch of fish over here. There we go. There we go. Right at the back side of this lake, there's a stream that comes in right over there. So there might be a lot of fish just stacked up right here in this corner. It's actually the first fish in a while, like 15 minutes. <laughs> We've been catching quite a few. There we go. Nice fish. Later. There we go. There we go. Another small rainbow. Wish we could get one like that first one we caught here that we kept. That thing is a stud. But there's a lot of these little guys. We just gotta weed through them. There we go. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that jump. It's not a bad fish. Another one on the leech. 
There we go, that's a fat one. Nice and chunky. Give him a little toss. Oh, was that a bite? Yep, that eh, was a fish. Wasn't sure. Man, I love fighting these fish. It's just so much fun. He's heading, he's trying to hide underneath these boulders I'm stand, standing on. Come on, wow. These fish have some power. Oh my gosh, he's just staying down. Holy cow. He did not just get hung up on a boulder. Oh, got him. He did, he got wrapped up in that stick and now they're floating up to the top. Dude, this fish is fighting. Just come up, buddy. It's crazy how some of them just don't give up. Come on, all right. Nice. Yeah, that's not a bad one. I guess you could say that's sort of on the bigger side, maybe. Pop that leech out for him. All right, there we go. I don't even know how many fish we've caught today. Probably close to 20. There we go. <laughs> that was like less than a minute after I released that last one. There we go. Ooh. Nice one just jumped over there. There we go. Ooh, oh, look at that jump. Did you see that? Holy cow. That was a, <laughs> he came like four feet out of the water. That was cool. <laughs> Come here, buddy. That is a pretty fish. Look at that. That is a gorgeous fish. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Look at that. <laughs> Another stud. That one's got some pretty colors. And he jumped. There he goes. <laughs> I love it when they do that. Just come full airborne out of the water. There we go. Another rainbow. Nice. We'll get you back quick. Oh, there he goes. There we go. There we go. Every time I give it a little movement, I get bit. This is like fishing in a hatchery. Just tons of these, all the same size. I mean, this is fun. Don't get me wrong. Nice. It's nice having this barbless hook. Fly just pops right out. There we go, another one. Instantly, same spot. I'm telling you, you twitch it just a little bit, it triggers them. Like a feminist. Come here, you little slime rocket. Yeah, these guys were definitely just stocked recently. At least most of them. The smaller ones have probably been stocked within the last month or so. And there's a few out there that have been in here a while. And those are the nice fat ones that we want. There he is again. <sighs> Same spot. Like clockwork. Oh, we got off. That was a, that was one of the better ones. Shoot. There we go. Not that time, buddy. This will probably be the one we ended on. Oh yeah, that is a nice fish to end it on. Oh, this, this boulder moves. Got to be careful. I'm almost tempted to take this one home too. Have one for tomorrow or smoke it, something. Ah, we'll let him go. We'll let him go. Next time though, we're taking you. There we go. Last one of the day on the leech. <laughs> See you later. All right, folks, it's cooking time. Found a nice little spot up in the forest where I'm kind of protected from the wind. It's still a little bit breezy, but it's not too bad. Absolutely beautiful afternoon out here. The only bad part is all the mosquitoes. Set our pan on. Hopefully this log is stable. Should be, but we'll have to be careful.
We got our little bag of rice. Go ahead and pour that in. Fish and rice today, the staple. Super quick, easy, and delicious. Now we'll take our fish, beautiful rainbow trout. Set it right in there, fits perfectly. I'm pretty good at judging the size a fish needs to be to fit perfectly in our pan because it just works out every time. But we're gonna go ahead and just throw some salt in there. Salt up the water and the rice and the fish. And some pepper. And then to finish it off, we got some dill weed. That's looking and smelling good. And then we'll take our plate, set it on top, make sure we're balanced here. We're kind of playing with fire, honestly. I mean, it is, this log is not super stable. It's not the worst thing I've ever cooked on, but it's definitely not the best. All right, we'll turn that heat up, get it cooking, and then we'll just wait and enjoy nature. Enjoy the green trees and the pine trees. Ooh, it's cooking. This part's still raw, but the bones and the meat are separating right here. Let's see if we can pull it off. Oh yeah, it's not quite ready on that thicker side. It's getting there. Give it a few more minutes. Well, the, the meat near the tail's cooked, but there's still a little bit of raw meat on that thick side right there. I think the wind is kind of blowing the flame out, making it hard to cook. There we go. So that part of the meat right there is still a little raw, still a little pink, but this is all cooked, so let's go ahead and try a bite. That's good. That fish has definitely been in that lake a while because that doesn't taste like a stock fish. It tastes like a actually pretty good fish. Let's do a little time check. It's 6 o'clock, 6.03. We started fishing at like 8 in the morning, caught tons of fish, and this is super rewarding. After fishing all day, this, this is amazing. Dude, these mosquitoes are freaking insane. Get out of here. Mm. Telling you guys, you gotta try dill weed on fish. I don't know what it is. One day I just saw it in the cupboard and I just grabbed it. And it's kind of been a staple ever since. It's really good on fish. Oh my gosh, these mosquitoes are horrible. I'm gonna have to eat this quick. They're literally eating me alive. I have so many bug bites. You know, I am quite pleased with how we did today. Every single fish was caught on the fly rod. I mean, I caught more fish than I could even count. I probably caught, I don't know, 30 or so, and two tiger trout. And ironically, the tiger trout weren't even hooked in the mouth. They did bite it, but of course I snagged them both, which is kind of a bummer. I definitely want to go back and get some revenge on those fish, try to figure out how to specifically target non-rainbow trout, because I don't know, man. Ouch, big old bug just bit me right in the hand. I'm gonna finish this up, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Got a lot more videos coming. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.